I'm here today with Gene Riddle. He's a North Carolina attorney that's been practicing for nearly 35 years. Gene, we're getting a lot of inquiries from clients regarding Roundup and its potential link to a certain type of cancer. What can you tell me about that? You're absolutely correct, Dan. We are getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of inquiries on our website about the connection of Roundup to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a very deadly form of cancer that's potentially connected to the active ingredient in Roundup, which is glyphosate, I believe. That's correct, Dan. And it is a very scary form of cancer. But anytime you hear the C word, it puts chills in your body. And we've been investigating these claims, I believe, for the past couple of years. Is that correct? That's correct, Dan. And right now, as of today, uh, there's been over $2 billion in verdicts that have been rendered against the maker of Roundup. That's really significant. And so what should someone do um, who may have been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and been exposed to Roundup weed killer? Well, the first thing they should do is they should see their doctor and they should continue whatever treatment the doctor, the doctor recommends. And then um, we would like for them to give us a call so that we can talk to them about investigating their case.